First graders at Briarcliff Elementary were clearly impressed by something none of them had ever seen until today. I think it was really cool watching the moon and the sun. Do you see the shadow? The students came outside after some hands-on learning in the classroom. A flashlight represents the sun, a tennis ball for the moon, and a rubber gym ball for the earth. When students shine the light on the tennis ball or moon, it casts a shadow on the rubber ball or earth, mimicking what they saw in real life. If you were out during the partial eclipse, you may have also noticed some strange shadows. See this little piece of paper has a pinhole in it. You put it in the sun's path, you can see the crescent-shaped shadow it casts because of the moon covering most of the sun. It's a very big deal, and we've been talking about this for a couple of weeks now. Teacher Caitlin Moran was totally into the partial eclipse. She even wore a shirt showing what would happen, which says it's just a phase. I've had this for a few years and um, thought it was very fitting for today. And it will be more than a few years for the next visible eclipse in our area. The next time this happens, you're going to be like 27 years old. What do you think about that? Um, it's gonna be old. I'm gonna be old. The North Kansas City Schools Education Foundation provided 25,000 protective sunglasses so system wide students, teachers, and staff could share in what they hope will be a memorable experience. Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News.